I still can remember how you touched me so tender. You told me you cared. Until it was gone, a second once in a lifetime. Maybe too much to ask, but I swear from now on, if ever you're in my arms again, this time I love you much better. If ever you're in my arms again, this time. Hello, my beloved. I hope you all went through the eclipse, the moon eclipse, uh, really good or fine. I felt um, I was at the tour in Glastonbury and um, yeah, the energies were amazing. We saw the energies coming in, we saw the moon changing and it was really, really powerful. Um, I made a beautiful grid um, and I will I will show you the grid in the beginning of the video or at the end of the video. I will uh, let you know the grid I made for uh, the eclipse moon and uh, this helped enormously with the energies uh, from the eclipse. Uh, in this uh, week we will go through a lot of healing a lot of stuff that will come up but we all will also will be uh, confronted with the things that needs to be done uh, like energy wise but also within our system things that need to be released things that need to be changed um, uh, hurt grief uh, um, and um, a lot of uh, old, old, old pain would could come up that needs to heal and need to be released. Also, um, things on trust issues needs to be released. You know, um, the trust in 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 something or someone. Uh, is really very important in the 3D. In 5D, it's not relevant. If we're going to uh, the unconditional love, we can open up ourselves and be in trust to anyone. Uh, even if they, um, they did not really treat you well or there was deceit or deception, uh, in 5D, there is no need for that emotion because it's all conditional love. And that, that, that kind of energy will set you free. And that's what's going on at the moment uh, with the eclipse. We have to surrender and go in total flow and total trust. And um, that's that's all what we are, what we are going to release. Uh, I I feel that there are a lot of things uh, shifting. Um, uh, I have the feeling people's going to to put more boundaries, to uh, to say what they feel uh, in truth and compassion. So we're going through a whole lot and a whole new way of communicating with each other. And um, yeah, I think that it's also um, a way of knowing yourself and start to know the other person. If you know that the other person is not evolving in your uh, energy, and keep stuck in the negativity and in the victim um, in the victim mode. Uh, you have to release them and you have to move forward for yourself. 
for your highest good. So now, I'm the overall energies for this week is the blue ray being the blue ray being and it will say direct divine expression bridge between dimension so we're going uh, after this period in a very fast upward spiral to the fifth dimension to uh, upgrade ourselves between uh, modern world and matrix world, the new earth and the new children and uh, connecting with higher realms of higher frequency and incredible, incredible light white, white light. <laughs> that's <laughs> light white. Yes, that, that's that's probably because of the light, the white lions that came in uh, this week so much, you know, dropping in and uh, giving us messages um, for the Leo, um, Le yeah, the Leo time. Uh, we're entering the zodiac of Leo soon, so um, they showing themselves and be for being strong, but also. Not only being strong, sorry, well, not only for being strong, but also for um, being uh, vulnerable and being soft. When you're soft in your energy, um, the strength of the Leo, Leo can be direct, can be uh, forceful, can be fire up, um, and yeah, it, it really can be sometimes uh, Leo has a strong, strong, fiery energy. And Leo needs to learn to soften up. And you hear, probably heard the story of the lion and the lamb. And that's um, this card will we'll come back in that. Um, the lion and the lamb is like um, the Leo learns the lamb to be strong and courageous and the lamb teaches the Leo to be soft and vulnerable and do things with a, a softer kind of way so they protect each other one it's the one or the other and uh, they bring both in into balance so it's not that the Leo will um, devour uh, the, the lamb and that the lamb can stand up to the Leo and say, hey, soften up your ways, you know. So and that's what, uh, what we need to learn within the time frame of Leo because uh, Leo can be very forceful, very enthusiastic very uh, um, uh, full of energy and passion and you know jumping in and say oh let's go and uh, we have a great ride and we'll go for it but she also needs to listen to the lamb you know to um, to be soft be vulnerable and uh, listen what the other person has to say instead of you know going all over it so that is what the blue rayings are teaching us to go to a higher energy and a higher frequency and releasing old behaviors you know and make the bridge between um between the two you know um so yeah, the bridge between the dimensions, but also within yourself, between the softness and the kindness and uh, the forceful and the fierceful, um, bringing it back in balance. So that's what's going on this week after uh, the moon eclipse. So let's see what's going on in the masculine uh, mind space. Um release old identities magnified and realized so 
it's about he needs to let go of all the old identities that was uh, he, what carries he, what what he is carrying oh like that's going great guys um yeah so uh, if he leaves the old patterns behind the old behavior and learn to be more soft and more generous and releasing the last stuff that is where he's really holding on to because I feel he's holding on to something that is not longer serving him and he knows it probably for years or months uh, that it was not serving him anymore so he had to release and um, in that in the release, uh, he will feel that things are not synchronizing anymore with his heart space. You know, uh, it's probably synchronized with his mind space. You know, uh, it could be that there is, um, is something at his work uh, or looking for other work, but it's not synchronizing with his... Um, with his heart space and that means uh, that it all has to do with self-care maybe it's not uh, on the right frequency anymore but in his mind it's still um, allowable it's still in his mind it's still okay uh, I'm doing this because uh, I need the money or uh, I holding on to something uh, what I know that is um not working for instance if if they're in a karmic relationship and uh, they know from the beginning that it's not marriage material but still holding on to it you know um then they have to change their ways to let go and move on and they will move on i see a lot of masculine will move on because they know at some point um, they can't give themselves, but they, they, it's also not making them happy in their core, but just keep it holding on and lingering on. And in that kind of state, he needs to release. He needs to release the old. He needs to release and go back. Uh, to his heart space what is in his heart space uh, what serves him what feels good to him what is um, uh, what is able to grow you know uh, could be that um, yeah there there is growth uh, necessary uh, between uh, relationships, uh, communication, and stuff like that. That's that's what I feel. So he is releasing um, old identities and um, everything what makes him happy and supports him. Um, what he knows that will support him, that will um, magnify. Yeah. What's in his heart space? The universe is in his heart space. Uh, wholeness. Communicate with all life. The micro and the macro cosm cosmos. And he needs to meditate. He is uh, meditating. He is um, trying to get whole in his heart space and when he goes to his heart space and he connects with the universe he knows he's whole he doesn't need anything else he doesn't need um, everything else he knows that life uh, is connected with the bigger picture and with the smaller picture to the microcosmos and the um, microcosmos so both, um, he knows that he has no say in everything, that he can't control anymore what's not to be controlled. 
if you want to, if you're in a relationship, for instance, with someone who is on a high vibration, you can't control them because they are more in touch with the universe and their free will. And uh, you can't control them. If you try to control someone who has a free spirit, uh, you're, you're drawing at the, the shortest end. And it's uh, very, um, very possible that you will be leave, left behind because of your ways. Because of the way you communicate to the person or to the way you are um, uh, lacking of um, releasing your old identities. You know, you have to go with that flow. Um, and of course, there are other ways, you know, to reach your destination because not everybody else's destination is the same. But if you want it to be an easy ride or a difficult ride, that's up to you. And the universe shows you an easy ride. And um, the rest will only show you uh, a block or a different and a very hard way of learning. So you can choose for the easy way and the light or you can choose the storm. And Metatron will uh, will guide you in this. Archangel Me Metatron will guide you in this because he he is serving the higher realms. And what is it, what? How does he see his divine feminine? Um, he sees that she has guidance from the stars that she is one with the collective self and unified field. She is the star connection. She makes the star connection. She makes, uh, a, she is a part of the universe and he sees that. Uh, he sees uh, that she is on such a different level than that he is um, at the moment. But it doesn't mean that he needs to feel small about it because he's not there yet. It means that he has to work on his self-worth and his self-assurance um, to not compare himself with her. Because there are two different ways and they could walk the same path but they ha would have two different energies. And when they come together, it can be that the, that, that the galactic star connection will uh, draw the masculine up to another level. And uh, it can also mean that the earth and grounded um, masculine can also give the divine feminine more grounding into her body. So... Uh, but he sees that she's a star being. He knows that she's a star being and is co connected with very high energies of, of, uh, in the realm. So he sees her as um, that she gets guidance from the stars, that she um, is one unified field with the universe and the collective and the planets. Okay. What is in the Divine Feminine's headspace? Flow. She goes with the flow. She, le she released the control. Uh, the Divine Will uh, will take over by her. And, uh, and she has an oceanic consciousness. And that means... Her consciousness is as big as the ocean, is as big as the universe. And she is very, um, she has a lot of knowledge about the universe, about, um, about everything what's going on in the universe, but also in life. And she uh, is this divine teacher. She is this divine feminine that wakes up people 
and um, it's not to teach them or to to uh, point out their flaws it's to teach them to wake up it's not about flaws or about anything uh, else it's how you perceive it that makes it a flaw or not feeling adequate or uh, not feeling strong that's the own security of the divine masculine but um, she is a divine teacher and she is here on this earth to wake up people for a greater being to to be the best they can be on all levels uh, she wants to get the best out of everyone and when you go in the flow then everything will happen for you don't fight it and she she is releasing uh, all the control and she gives herself to the divine will and uh, that will bring her everything that she needs what's in her heart space in her heart space there is divine healing upon you divine grace and divine guidance she is the angelic ones in her heart space she belongs to the angels the fairies and the elves and um, and there is healing for her healing on her heart healing on the past life so she can move on forward for herself to um, strengthen herself uh, to stand more for herself believe in herself and believe in the universe and that's her path you know not everybody has the same path but we're going all to a, a fifth dimension and we were we want to evolve if we don't evolve and we get stuck in the 3d dimension of the illusion and the and the program of fear and confusion then um, the people who who do change and who do awaken and grow into uh, the universal stream they will um, they will rise and the th people who are stuck in the 3d they will leave this earth sooner or later they will lose the or lose lose uh or yeah they will um get sick or um get more heart attacks more ways of cancer more more ways of um more diseases are coming in um dimension uh not dimension but dimension you know forgetfulness and and really getting stuck and uh, being uh, depressed and that's what the 3d matrix does you know and it's better to follow the the high stream of the fifth dimension uh, as creation to a new uh, yeah new energy and a new uh, way of humanity so that's in is in her heart space and that is what she wants to reach for everybody she wants to reach the whole collective and uh, she wants to take that with them and that's that's why she gets healed from everything what keeps her stuck in the 3d because the universe is stepping in the universe is letting her see that there are other ways to um, to reach your goals to reach that 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 higher dimension and when you take the step in front of you you will go with that flow and you will you receive all the alignments and you will receive all the presence and you receive the abundance and um, material flow so that's what's going on in her heart she is an an, an an angel being connected with the fairies and the elves um 
how does she see her divine masculine? Uh, stabilization, physical integration and mental clearing. Earth and air. She sees that he is getting connect with the earth energies within his system, but also in the air energies. And um, that will help to, um, to be practical, but also um, mental clearing. The divine masculine uh, needs to have a mental clearing, a mental clearing of all programs. And she, that is what she sees, that he needs to have a different view on things. Um, if you need uh, help from, from someone, you know, ask for help because it shows you humility. It shows your humanity. It shows that uh, you can't do everything by your own. And it's not ashamed to find, you know, to ask for help. It's, it's, uh, yeah, that's it. You, you don't. You don't have to ask for um, ask for help if you if you need help with something, you know, and and go to the right person to ask for help. Okay. Um, what's supporting the divine masculine? Blessings will come to to you on your on your soul path. So honor all life, exchange of joy without karma or sacrifice. Wow, divine feminine had it last week. So this means that will support the divine masculine. Um, the blessings of joy, being joyful, uh, going to a higher frequency. And, um, and follow your soul path, you know? Everybody has a soul path. Everybody has a mission on this earth. If it's a healing mission, if it's um, connecting people together, uh, make sure union is happening, it's your soul path. It's, it's something that you feel in your soul that you need to do to make a change in, uh, in the matrix energy. And then the blessings are coming to you. How does he seize the relationship with the divine feminine? The well of dreams, creation, visions, messages, dissolve the feel, bliss and dreams. So the creation is going to the universe. Dream about your new earth. Dream your path. Uh, and receive in meditation the visions. The messages can come through um, uh, dreams. But also can come through um, uh, internet, uh, telephone. Um, that you receive the messages uh, from the divine on your phone by numbers uh, by the same digits like 17 17 20 20 22 22 11 11 all those numbers are a sign of the universe that you're in alignment uh, on your path if it's not happening for you you don't see all those numbers then you're out of alignment it can be that when you're in a lower frequency, you don't receive those messages. Uh, you don't see uh, these, these uh, signs that's, that are coming through. So it's really to connect with uh, your dreams or with the, the state of dreams when you're in meditation, you're in a state of transic receiving. And when you're receiving you, your messages, they will show up later in the 3D or in the 5D 
uh, realms. So you will get your confirmation on the earth plane that you're in alignment with the universe. And then you will see and you will receive your bliss and you will receive your messages and that will make you happy. It will give you a confirmation that you're on the right path. And if you follow that uh, and that energies, uh, because they're coming from a higher, higher dimension, they're coming from uh, the planets. So uh, that is what she, how she sees the relationship with her divine of how she, he sees the relationship with his divine feminine because everything comes in 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 the messages and the visions and in the dreams it could be that the divine masculine is dreaming a lot of, about his divine feminine and if he can't see it he has to dissolve the veil that is blocking his mind by meditation it could be that um, that he dreams about a relationship with her, that he dreams about um, um, about a union. And if you if you dream your dream, you create your um, you you create your reality. That's it. So if you're for instance, done with a, with an old pattern and you're dreaming and you're thinking about new ways, those new ways will come in to get in alignment with you. Because you're calling them in, you will see that, that it's not the way you want it to be in the first place, but you're going to visualize and to create... Um, what you want you you create what you want you know and uh, if you want something and you put it out in the universe it will come to you and i see the divine masculine is dreaming about his divine feminine to come into union for this relationship okay uh, what's supporting the divine feminine healing Gentleness of love, realignment, and transformation. Wow. And this healing, what she's doing, doing everything from soft-hearted, uh, from the her heart space, that transforms the other person, that gives healing, but also healing for her, herself, and that will bring the two swans together for a union. Uh, the swans are also um, standing for loyalty, connection, uh, monogamy, uh, strong, strong connection, but also visions from the higher realm. And these healing hands that will send healing to both of you. And she will get the healing and she gets healing from who she wants. Um, she's, uh, I, I think also a lot of divine feminine reach out for, um, for healing and they go to someone to heal them and they go to receive healing. They go to someone who can transform them, uh, who will help them to transform because she went to so many years of healing upgrading transforming and she is not stopping because she wants to reach the highest goal and get the most highest potential out of herself without losing herself so uh, yes she is looking for healing healing of the past healing of old wounds to move on and uh, make create a better life for herself and for because she's creating a better life for herself she's also healing the 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 whole collective the feminine uh ancestral lines she heals the fem feminine ancestral lines but also the feminine future if she works on herself 
what how does she see the relationship with her divine masculine she is the peacemaker through inner peace resolving ancient splits so that's what i talked about uh, earlier in the in the time space of leo the lamb heals the uh, leo to be more softer and more gentle so he will protect the lamb and he is teaching the lamb to have more courage and not and and be powerful to walk your path by yourself um, and that's that's what Leo and the lamb teach each other so it's they're peacemakers the Leo is from uh, origin uh, a soft-hearted person but if she he or she is under attack you better run you better run but she is they they are very uh, generous uh, very grateful and 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 open-hearted and loving people they are very strong in their ways and very strong in their beliefs and sometimes that's hard for other people to convince them of other uh, other paths but it doesn't mean they're not open for it um, they walk their way even if they have to uh, you know um, hurt get hurt time and time and time again they will always try to hold the peace and uh, sometimes when they're out of alignment they can be um, they can be furious they can be fiery they can be aggressive they can be really really fierce but then you really have to cross the line you really have to cross the line and the lamb is learning them to be softer and to get their point across by communication and um, uh, looking at uh, the things from a higher perspective and not only from the perspective of the person's self so uh, they're recovering from ancient splits and that means it could be that they were split in the in in uh, in an other time or in the past like they were not together the lamb and the and the uh, leo were separated so when the leo feels um how do you call it um, feels not safe they could uh, really get angry or fiery and really tell in your face how they think about you with the lamb um, the lamb would run away if the lamb would take over over the over the over the leo then the lamb would would run away out of uh out of scaredness or uh out of uh, fear or out of um, not being strong enough or not having enough courage to uh, keep the situation uh, stronger because there was no safe place for the lamb to to be in and now they feel that the divine masculine is starting to learn this and that she um, that she can handle the divine masculine better than she ever did before so that's how she sees the relationship with the divine masculine that it is getting better in balance so she is safe within herself she is safe she feels safe with the lion so when she feels safe with the lion then unity is possible then union will come together so that's how she sees the relationship 
what is his um, what is the challenge of the divine masculines to dream his new world in Syrian emission also the divine feminine had this one last week and it's really weird because we have 88 cards in this deck and two of these cards are coming out uh, from the divine feminine's deck last week so where the divine feminine was last week the divine masculine is there now so uh, dream your new earth Time for a magical life and leave the past behind. Well, I channeled that one already um, about the energies uh, of dream your dreams. It's connected with the well of dreams and um, and the, 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 the star beings are really going to help them to see things for a for a better view from a higher view from an other perspective and they really uh, will joy and join with that so create your magical life and that's their um, <coughs> that's their challenge because there's also a lot of fear to create that beautiful life because could be lower energies, entities, and stuff like that that will withhold them to uh, create their 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 future purpose. What are they going to do about it? Travel, inner and outer journeys, believe in yourself, and big shifts are happening. They getting help from uh, the dragon families they get in help from the dragons uh, to get more strong to to stand for themselves and um, believe in themselves and believe that the journey they're on um, and it could be that it is the twin flame journey they they're on uh, of awakening, of healing and becoming a better person to come in union with your Divine Feminine. Um, yeah, making big shifts in your life. So I feel a lot of the Divine Masculine went to a storm, went to a really rough time of grief, of anger, of uh, letting go, uh, releasing... Um, getting over heartaches, getting over um, uh, breakups, and that's what what I feel that that's happening. Um, and they need to travel and journey uh, beyond their eyesight. Not it's don't always have to be a physical travel, and that can be, you know, it can be that they start that they they are going to travel. Um, to confront their um, new earth and magical life because they know something better is out there for them so um, yeah big shifts are happening when they start to travel in journey and outer journeys and believe in yourself that you can do it and that you will, will be received with love. What's the challenge for the Divine Feminine? The new man, the Divine Masculine. Um, enlightened Masculine. Potential and new earth. That's her challenge. Her challenge is to um, open herself up for the, the new divine masculine um, he is enlightened he is awake he knows and she knows there is potential and uh, they can create this new earth because they're both awake and that probably will uh, will be a challenge for her after uh, a lot of loss um, because I feel 
the divine feminine has to let go and let go and let go and let go all the time and it's it's about loss um, um, and, and, and overcoming abandonment, overcoming uh, deceit, overcoming um, betrayal. Because that's in the divine um, feminine space all along. You know, that's, that's, that's what, what happened. And, and they are able to clear the karma now. But it's still a challenge. And I want to see what the Divine Feminine is going to do about it um, to open herself up for potential new energy of the Divine Masculine. She is going to enjoy life. She will trust. Oh, wow. She will go to the fifth dimension. She will trust. She will open her hands. She will share the love and joy of life and she will let go of the past. Wow. So when you're in alignment with the universe, the universe will bring what you need in your life. So she needs to trust and to open up again. And she is like the phoenix from the flame arising on top. She is pouring out her overflowing cup and they will meet each other. They will meet each other. Their cups are filled of love for themselves, for other people. And that will bring the divine masculine back to her in union. He will come into her life in union. And the only thing she has to do is trust and open her hands and share the joy of life and let go of the past what happened. Because in reality, um, rejection is just an illusion because the amount of energy you give it, it will give it power. But if you don't see it as a rejection, but as a new way of growing, you will overcome everything. So that's what the Divine Feminine learns and what she's going to do about um, the challenge of the Divine and the New Masculine. What combines them together? Breathe the sun. Be present. Pineal gland activation. Relax and let go. That combines them. They will breathe in the sun. They will um, activate each other. Um, they will be relaxed. And they let go. So they let go of everything. They let go of expectations they let go of um, of the old paradigm they're in this space that they know that they can take care of themselves that they okay with each other that um, that they can trust each other and that's it what brings them together indigo child Inspire, heart connection, dialogue, action, passion, attraction, and community. They know that they are attracting and they are the same. They have the same heart connection. They have the same dialogue. They have the same um, way of interacting with each other the same way of interacting with um, uh, with the universe uh, there is action uh, they don't wait they uh, take action what needs to be taken and uh, there is a lot of passion between them 
So that will bring them together. The passion and the community and the communication will bring them together. So if, um, and I see they're both indigo children. They're both on the same level. They're both uh, connecting and uh, that will bring them together. Wow, I think this is a very beautiful and forthcoming reading for this week. Um, if you want any uh, private readings with me, um, the month of July and August I have discount on the readings for £88 uh, for an hour. If you want a healing uh, for uh, a reading and a healing for an hour and a half, there's a there's a, a discount on. So let me know uh, if you need support, if you need guidance. Know that this is a, a, a general reading. Uh, it could be that the masculine and the feminine resonates um, the other way around. Just swap it if you need. You know, take with you what's for you, toss out what doesn't synchronize with you and um, go with the flow. I wish you all a very happy and beautiful week. Um, take care of yourself, take care and, and look for the alignments, look for the numbers, look for what the universe has to give you. Let go of the control and let the universe... Um, guide you instead of your mind i wish you a lovely lovely day a lovely weekend lovely week and i see you next week bye bye blessed be